old and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. The Quartermaster.co.za. Good gear for the good guys. Okay, so I bought things from these guys and it's not the first time I've bought from them before. They are fantastic. Um, I ordered it the morning and I got it. I think that same day it was delivered to my house. So that was fantastic. Anyway, um... Yes, anyway, so I bought from them. Um, they have everything you want for outdoorsy stuff, MREs, what, what, any type of military surplusy stuff and outdoorsy stuff and self defense and all kinds of things. Wonderful place. Okay, so go give them a look. Anyway, I bought myself a knife, fork, and spoon set, a puck style or a What's it? A cutlery set, the army cutlery set. But I'll show that to you later because this is quite a nice one. But we're not doing that today. Today I want to see how this stuff works. Uh, wax wood. Okay, so let's see how this wax wood works. It's apparently supposed to be something like fat wood, but man-made. Okay. okay, so let's see. We have this thing and it's one of these... Um, pull over here to open, seal in the freshness, keeps it yummy for longer. And inside we have a block. Ah, sorry, that thing is too shiny. We have a block. Oh, it smells quite nice. Very piney. Okay, now it doesn't look extremely waxy. And it looks like it's two pieces of wood that's been stuck together to make a square. But it does have a nice piece of paracord through it um, so you can walk around with it and then it feels kind of waxy so I suppose it is wax wood now um, okay I'm going to use my Vespa um, let's see no the spine feels a bit rounded I'm not going to use my Vespa I'm going to use my red one yes sharp spine wonderful so we're going to do some shavings and then strike it with a ferro rod and see if it will burn we'll do that outside on a stump but at the end of the video i think we need to talk about this ontario thing going away um yeah just my take on that thing okay we're outside sorry about the excited dog and yes i am doing my tactical crocs um okay so we have our piece of wax wood and we have a flint the fire ferro rod over there and then we have our red one still one of my favorite outdoors z knives ever so oh, this stuff feels quite soft i'm digging into it quite nicely oh Okay, let's see if we can scrape some of this off. Okay, some fine shavings over there, some bigger curly curls over there. Yeah, I suppose that's enough. And now, let's just quickly, okay, this knife is fantastic for these types of things. Okay, so, we have my block of waxwood. Waxwood seems to be a good alternative to fat wood if you cannot find it okay now this stuff is burning quite nicely um, and without the black smoke that you normally get from actual fat wood so I quite like this I think you would be able to start a fire with this Okay, and you saw I didn't use a huge amount and I didn't really do any scrapes. But that's quite fantastic. Okay, let's go back inside and talk about something before we start the fire for real. 
Okay, so the waxwood works fantastically. I quite like that. Now, what I wanted to say. Um, everybody knows that Ontario Knife Company, the American company, the one that was there, um, that one closed down. They're going to do something with the actual factory. Um, and then the name has been, was, brought, was bought by um, Blue Ridge Knives. Okay. If I'm lying about anything, please just leave it in the comments. Anyway, um, but they didn't, yeah, they bought the name and they bought the overseas companies, I think, or something through with the overseas companies. Now, this one is made in Taiwan. Okay. And yes, Ontario made wonderful American made ones, but I think most people, excuse the chopper, most people um, knows the Rat One. That's pretty much i think their claim to fame okay um because all around the world all over the world everywhere people know red ones and love red ones i love these things so much okay but instead of panic buying well you can maybe have two and then relax um but instead of panic buying i'm pretty sure that these guys you see this is a se knife this is the what's that thing called a vispa okay and that was made by or not made by yes made by blue ridge knives okay and then you can see this is also taiwan so i'm pretty sure and these two knives i've always seen as pretty much the same thing this is just a more urban friendly one of that because it's a bit thinner it's got the frame lock spine is not so what do you call it really round okay but still i quite like this one i just need to move it from the down to top up i don't know why i never did that anyway um but this one feels like a more edc friendly one because it's a bit thinner but this one is nice to work with outside okay love this knife anyway so i'm pretty sure that these guys bought the rights to this so that they can keep manufacturing these ones okay and i'm pretty sure the fact that they have the name means we're still gonna have it under the same name made in the same factory everything so i think we're fine with that um okay that was me so now enough with the knife things go to the quartermaster if you want to see what they have wonderful the piece of um, wax wood was uh 50 rand yes it was 50 rand for that do with that what you want all of you stay safe happy have a good one goodbye